What's up, everybody? <laughs> I'm so excited today because I have a surprise. I've switched from filming with my backdrops to a regular background again. This has been my secret. I've been trying to get this together for about a month or two at this point. I've been buying stuff and collecting stuff. And so I'm excited to finally be filming in my new film setup. So I'm still in the same space, but I just have set it up a little bit differently. So I threw a little hint your way in my Rihanna coffee table book video. And I was talking about how I'm going to display it in a different type of way. You guys will see it soon. And this is what I was talking about so i'm so hyped up for this because it's really me returning to my roots this is going to be my 10th year on youtube in 2020 so i figured just go back to how i started because if you guys are og kale bells then you'll remember that back in the day i did not always have a backdrop i used to film in my college apartment and i would sit there and you guys could see my room and sometimes you would see the real real i would have clothes on the bed sometimes sometimes i'll have my closet door open but you know it was just more me and and then as I progressed on YouTube, I decided that I wanted to do the backdrop situation, which I really do still love backdrops just because you can switch it up. And I'm a girl who likes to switch things up. Like I'm not the girl that's always going to keep the same thing and be on the schedule and be routine and blah, blah, blah. I just really like to keep it fresh. So now that I have a real background that you guys can see, I don't know how long I'll keep all this the exact same way, but you'll see that I'll change things up every so often just because I like to keep it fresh and I like to keep it funky. I think that it's really exciting and I hope that you guys like the new background. I put a lot of energy into this. I'm not gonna say that I'll never go back to using backgrounds, but basically this is what we're going to be working with. And then if I get bored or if I wanna do a very specific type video where I feel like having this type background will be a distraction, then I'll use a backdrop. But for the most part, this is what we're gonna be doing. And this is so much easier because putting a backdrop up just adds on to the time that it takes me to actually sit down and film. Because you all don't know, but it takes me about an hour and a half prep time before I actually sit down to film a video because I always like to do my hair differently. I always like to do a different makeup look and then I have to think about what I'm gonna say and then I like to look at the products and then I might sit down and I might watch an episode on Netflix. Like it just takes me a while to get into the filming groove. But you know, not having to put up a backdrop, that eliminates at least 10 minutes of me stretching out the backdrop, making sure that it's steamed and it's not wrinkly looking and stretching it out. And I'm going back over here and making sure that this side is smooth and child, it just was a whole ordeal. So I'm happy to at least get rid of one step. So I've already filmed a lot of videos with this, but then I still have a lot of videos that I've already filmed with the backdrop. So for a while, you'll see me going back and forth between between this background and a backdrop. The backdrop videos pretty much all have been pre-filmed. Although for the holiday season, I may film a few more videos with my backdrop just because I won't be here to film in this. But starting in 2020, primarily you're going to see this while I film. But to the topic of what this video is, this is my November favorites. And this is the last month of the year. We are in December, we are halfway through December and I am just now filming this video. And truthfully, I really thought about skipping it you guys but I know that so many of you all look forward to my favorites videos so I don't want to let you all down so it doesn't matter when I do it I just try to make sure that I do it so I want to share the products and experiences and all that good stuff that I loved from the month of November I still am going to be doing my yearly favorites and my yearly hate it and then a few other fun end of year videos but I definitely still wanted to get this one going and then I still am going to do my December favorites video but I believe I'm going to wait until January to do that video since I'm doing my November favorites so late in December 
So, let's get these products cracking. I don't have a lot of stuff that I loved that is new that I wanna share. So I pulled out some things that I've loved that I haven't already talked about in my favorites videos before. First things first, let's throw it back with an old school products that I used to love and swear by. This is actually the first product that I ever did a review on on my channel in 2010. It is the Lancome Dual Finish Powder. Now, this powder just really resonates with me. It looks beautiful on my skin. I love the finish of it. I used to wear this powder alone. No other liquid foundation or cream foundation underneath. And this was my foundation. Because as the name states, it's a dual finish powder. So you can wear it like a traditional powder or you can dampen it and you can get it to be a cream. I don't do all the dampening of the powder and trying to do all of that because I have other products that can do that without me doing another step. Like I'm all about simplicity, but I love this powder and for a long time I could not find another color to suit me because my original color that I loved got discontinued and it broke my heart. Like you all don't even know how hurt I was behind that powder. But then I found another color which I never really loved as much, but then they discontinued that. So I was like, what? The actual beep. So I ended up leaving the powder alone for years. I revisited the powder and I found a color that I was happy with. Now I'm not going to say it's a perfect match because I still think that it is just a little bit too dark so I can't put it in the center of my face. But it's very close to my skin tone. I actually wanna go back to the counter and see if they have one shade lighter for me right now because I am just a little bit pale. But I have the color 420 Bisque Neutral. I think that it's a good undertone. It's not too cool toned, it's not too warm toned, it's a good neutral. It's just I wish that they had a 415 Neutral. So we'll go see, hopefully when I go up in color, it doesn't change the undertone because that's always my problem. I just put it on the perimeter of my face and then I put my Mac in the middle and I just have been having a really good time with that, so. Next is my concealer that I have absolutely loved. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Concealer for Under Eye. Now, I don't let people tell me what to do. So I don't use it for my under eye. I love this for cleaning up around my brows. I love a concealed under brow. Sue me. I just like the way it looks. I like how sharp it makes your brows look. I don't go too, too ham with how light of a concealer I use underneath my brows. I use a little bit of a lighter color just for a little highlight, but I typically stick around my complexion. So I have a color that's about half a shade lighter than me. This one is 3.5. Love this. It is very creamy. It blends out, but then when I put my eyeshadow on top of it, it just really helps it pop. So I have really been loving this for underneath my brows. I'll put just a little bit like right here on the tail, but I don't go all the way over here with it just because I don't want that halo brow look, that concealer brow, the floating brows, I'm not trying to go there. But just right here, just to sharpen that up so I can cut a bitch. No, I'm just kidding. I love that. So next I have a lip balm that I have been absolutely loving. I think I've talked about this before in one of my favorite videos. This one is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm and I like the flavor. Peach. I know y'all are like, it's not a flavor. You can't eat it. It's a flavor. <laughs> peach. I love peach because it doesn't taste or smell just, what's the word I'm looking for? It doesn't smell contrived. Can I say that? Does that fit here? Basically, it doesn't smell like a fake variation of a peach scent. It smells like how peaches smell that you actually eat. That's what I like about it. Plus, this is not just a regular lip balm, it's a glossy lip balm. Where did I get that from? Like not that exact sentence, but just how I said it. Where did I get that from? But I really like this because it keeps my lips moisturized and it gives me a little bit of gloss. So on days where I'm just chill, like right now my lips are glossy. I have a little bit of a tint on, but if I wasn't wearing this, I could easily throw this on and it'll give me the same effect. So I just really love this and I keep it in my purse and it really saves the day because your girls 
lips and hands stay dry stay like embarrassingly dry like i'll put on lip balm or i'll put on hands lotion and two minutes later it's like my skin just i have something that i really was fighting myself not to get but then i just finally succumbed to my desire to have this item and i'm so glad that i went ahead and listened to my gut to do so that is the Milk Makeup X Sephora Brush Collection. Now, this is not something that I would typically buy just because I consider myself a bit of a brush snob. <laughs> I'm sorry, I am, I just am. And I like what I like. And so a lot of times collaborations or holiday brush launches just really don't do it for me. But I saw these brushes and I kept looking at them, okay? So I saw them in Sephora once, I saw them in Sephora twice, and then the third time I saw them in my face because my mama told me good things coming through. No, I'm just kidding. But I just had to have them. So I went ahead and did it and I'm so glad because I use them every single day. They actually are dirty right now. And I really fought myself to keep them clean, but I just, I, I couldn't do it. I really just love these brushes that much. So it comes in this really heavy canister. So I was impressed by that. And then it tells you the different brushes that are here. It tells you the inspiration behind the brushes. Here are the brushes. It comes with five different face brushes and they're all shapes that I love. So we have two foundation brushes and both of them are compact kabuki like brushes and both of them have an angle. That's my favorite type of foundation brush. It's something about that angle and the compactness of it. It just does it for me. So then we have a brush that I love that is a rare brush that people really don't do. And that is the angled compacted concealer brush. So I like this type of brush to apply my concealer sometimes. I'm really a beauty sponge girl when it comes to my under eyes just because I like to be as delicate as possible. But this is my type of brush for blending out that concealer right here on this outer part of my brow and my concealer underneath my brow and my eye primer is the perfect size for for my eye shape. So some people may think it's a little big, but for me, it just works. So I love that. And then it comes with two powder brushes. One of them is an all over face powder brush, which is super light and fluffy. And the other one is a highlighter powder brush. And I used it today and it gives you the nicest, wispiest highlighter application. And I think these brushes are really, really bomb. I'm so glad I went ahead and bit the bullet and bought these because they are currently out of stock on Sephora's website. But I'm still holding out hope that you all will be able to get your hands on these brushes if you want them in store. Hopefully, if you go in store and you still are looking, they may have one peeking behind the counter somewhere or somebody may have put one in a place where it doesn't really go, but it was there for you. So the last item that I have that is a favorite Okay, I'm gonna tell you what it is, but I have not done my video on this yet. I still want you all to watch my video on them, and at the same time, I don't want you all to cuss me out because I don't have the video on them up yet. But just know I did them, and these are really nice as per usual, okay? Okay, one, two, three. These are the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. She came out with new colors and they are her matte formula, her signature amazing matte formula. These are great. Like I really can't say enough good things about her lipstick formula. These are consistent, these are beautiful, they are velvety, they are the same formulation as the other lipsticks that she's come out with in the past. These are just more nudish colors and I love them. Now, I'm not gonna tell you which ones I have. Just know that I'm gonna put this video up ASAP. So I have this video going up and then I have, I think, one more video that I wanna get up before this one. But definitely, I will have this video up in less than seven days. That's a promise. But yeah, those are all the things that I love. Like I said, I didn't have that many things that I wanted to share just because I have not been buying that much makeup. And this is coming from Kelsey buying every single piece of makeup that comes out, period, to me just really buying things that A, I absolutely wanted to have for my collection 
or be buying things that I know you all absolutely want to see no matter what. But there's not been a lot of things that have come out that fit into either one of those categories. And I really have been focusing on this project back here, not really on the makeup this past month. So maybe there'll be more that comes out in January. I really don't think there's gonna be a lot that comes out in December. I know that Pat McGrath is gonna come out with her big collection and you all really don't even have to ask me if I'm gonna get that because you know that I am. But then other than that, there's not really a lot lot more that's coming out so I'm gonna do a buy or buy soon and I'll talk about some of the new launches that I see and then we'll have that discussion on that video but that's everything now I have a few things that I want to share that I got in PR starting with my friends rougher I love rougher brushes and I just want to take a moment to thank you all for supporting them because I have such a personal connection to this brand meeting Tom and getting to know him the face behind rougher it lets me know that there are people on the other side of these brands and it really makes me feel a deeper connection and it's not just about the brushes the people that make rougher brushes they really put a lot of time and energy and thought into the brand and that goes into every aspect of it so from the brush creation to the website to how they want to formulate their sales design like I just really think that this brand is dope Mel and I met up with Tom we went on a business lunch with him and we talked about the future of the brand and he talked about the new developments and all that good stuff and he is always so sweet and he gifted us with some brushes so this is from their travel size brush kit and I really really like these and so I'm really not the biggest fan of most brands travel brushes because they simply are not the same quality as their regular full-size brushes most of the time but when he gave me these brushes I touched them and I was immediately blown away because they are the exact same brushes as the brushes that they have full size except for these are travel size so I am just really impressed with that just because that seems like that would be something that's commonly done but it is not most of the time big brands when they come out with the travel size brushes and they have artisan made brushes in their regular line their travel size brushes are just going to take a hit on quality and it's all about the mass production of them because they're trying to get them out for Christmas sales and Christmas deals these brushes still maintain that same quality that rougher brushes have. They're still soft. They still are gonna apply your makeup in the best manner. They're just more compact, which allows you to travel with them so much more easily. So I was really excited about that. On top of them just being so generous and being so sweet, they also wanted to gift you guys something for just being supportive of them throughout the entire year. They have holiday sets going on right now. So there are two different holiday sets and each set has 14 different brushes so you can either get the classic holiday set or you can get the holiday travel set which is what I just showed you guys which is basically the classic holiday set except for it is in a travel size plus on top of that you get a bonus brush which is the P22 bronzer brush which you guys saw me use in one of my videos not too long ago even though that is already a great deal they have created a code I'm not an affiliate or anything like that but they created a code for you guys to save $100 off of that set. So 14 nice, soft, goat hair, nice handle, well-made brushes for $340 plus a bonus brush. And then you get to take $100 off of that and it would make it $240. I don't know anywhere where you can get 14 brushes made like how they make their brushes plus another brush. So 15 brushes for $240. Like I don't know, I just have never seen it. That is an insane price. So I think that that is a great deal. Thank you so much to Refer as always for your support. I love their brushes. I think that they are absolutely amazing. And I've already been using these just because I've gone on three trips since they've given them to me. And I've taken them with me every single time and I've washed them and they are still soft as ever. So love these brushes, love Refer. So next I got a surprise box from Pop Beauty. Their Instagram is pop underscore beauty. So here's what the box looks like that they sent me. It says kiss and sip pop perfect pout. The box says create your pop perfect pout and pucker up for the ultimate kiss proof test. 
So these are long wearing permanent pouts. It has some lip colors in here and it has some glasses. Like literal glasses, like not glasses, but drinking glasses. Why did I do that? Like, what was that? So I said these are the perfect velvety matte lip paints for your hashtag pop perfect pout. Anytime I decide to do a swatch, I already know things are about to get messy, but I do it anyways. Okay, so this one is called Poppy Pout. So these are liquid lipsticks. Mmm, they smell like coconut. Points up for me. Okay, so it's going on liquidy, and then I presume it's going to dry down matte. So we'll see. I'm gonna come back to it, but thank you so much, Pop Beauty. I'll have to thank them formally. I'm like, who is this from? Who's this big pretty package from? And then I opened it up, I was like, ooh. Next I have this. So let's see. This one is wrapped up. It says Kelsey. Ooh. It was rhinestones in here. That took me for a loop. I'm like, what is, what is falling out? What is falling out? It says, Kelsey, thank you for giving us the opportunity of sharing our new products with you. Here's a discount code for you and your followers. It is my name, Kelsey40. Hope you enjoy it. Happy holidays. Ciao, Bella. Okay, so this is the two-in-one facial and eyebrow hair remover. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Let's see, it removes hair instantly and pain free. It's discreet and portable, safe to touch, painless and easy to use, comfortable to hold, and it has a built-in light. It says to use the smaller one to remove eyebrow hair, okay, because you can be more precise. And then for facial hair, you can use the bigger one. So you can use the bigger one for your upper lip, your chin, and your cheeks. So let me try this. I have a lot of hair back here. Let me see if it gets rid of that. If I got rid of that little hair on the back of my nape that's all the way over here, I'm a hairy girl. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but I'm not mad at this. Thank you so much, Chow Bella. And it definitely got rid of the hair where I did it and it was painless. So I am impressed. That is my first time trying something like that and that definitely worked. So I appreciate you all. And if you all wanna get something like this and you're hairy like me, they did give me a code. Like I said, it is Kelsey 40. And I'll have a link to this down in the description box as well. Again, I am not an affiliate. It's just a code for you all to be able to save some moolah. Sand and Sky sent me some products. So the first thing that they sent me, okay, so both of these are from the same line, the Australian Emu Apple line. So this one is the Super Bounce Mask. Yes, 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 yes. I am all about hydration right now. I told you all how dry my skin is. Like my face is dry, but it's really my hands and my lips. Like I'm drinking water, but it's like it's not even mattering. Like what is going on? It is cold. It says that this is going to help bring life back to your face. Beat the dull and bring on the bounce. Okay, yes, yes. I'm doing this today. It says that this has hyaluronic acid, which helps to hydrate skin and make it appear plump with moisture. Next, they sent the Dreamy Glow Drops. It's gonna hydrate and it's going to brighten your skin. So let me see what these are about. It says that it has a water phase and then it has an oil phase. So I knew that. It has five types of hyaluronic acid, which helps the skin appear plump with moisture. And it has an oil phase with light, Hemi squaling, which helps to smooth and soften skin. So let's see if that can help my hands real quick because she needs it. So it has a dropper. Let's do a few drops here. It feels nice. I can see an immediate difference. I really can. It feels really nice. And I like the way it smells. It smells like the right balance of a little bit of fragrance and a little bit of like skincare-y, spy-ish smell so i'm excited about this thank you so much sand and sky i am going to be using these things tonight kaleidos coming through it comes in this oh my god i feel like inspector gadget i love cases this is the type of thing that i would have bags for when i was little this is so 
cute. I've said it before. I think Kaleidos is my brand. As an Aquarius, this brand just really connects with me. Like, I get it. Old school suitcases always had this. I love old school stuff. Okay, lime green. On the inside, it says new age makeup. Welcome to your Kaleidos Makeup Mini Retreats. This experience has been tailored especially for your maximum satisfaction, comfort, and creative indulgence. <gasps> Ooh, look at this. Why are they keep swinging me like this? So you open it up. <gasps> and here is the lip. Oh my God, this is like the cutest presentation ever. Lip tonic injection. I think this is a liquid lipstick. I'm just overall very, 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 very excited about this. I am. So I have been promising that I'm going to do a Kaleidos makeup video. And now's the time, I'm doing it. So I have been wanting to do things all together. So one big overview video. And they'll send me something and then they'll say, hey, we're gonna send you something else. And then in my head, I'm like, okay, I'll wait and do the video when I get the other thing. And then they'll say, hey, we wanna send you something else. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, then I'll wait and I'll do the video when I get another thing. And then they wrote me again and they were like, Kelsey, we want to send you something else. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I'm excited. But now I'm finally going to do the video with the things that I have. And uh, if they want to send me other things, cool. And I'll do that in a separate video. But right now I have all of their eye palettes. I have the highlighters and now I have the lips. So I have enough to do a full face. So expect that video very, very soon. It's going to be a comprehensive review of everything Kaleidos. Thank you so much, Kaleidos. And thank you so much to everybody else who sent me PR. Again, I'm going to leave my PO box down in the description box. So if you want to send me something, you can. If you are brand, you want to send me your products, you can. I will accept it at my PO box. And I will have all of that information down below. Now I am traveling for the holidays. So if you send me something right now until January, it will be a slight delay before I get it, but I'll get it. So let me know. Thank you again to everybody. Now that we've gone over all the PR, it's time for you all's favorite portion, Kelsey's Comment Corner. So I'm gonna read out some of my favorite comments from the month of November. Give you all a little bit of a shout out because you know I love my Kelbells. So the first comment comes from Glad It's Not Me. I think this is the most hilarious like name and then the Abby is like this little stick person shouting. So I always read it like in that type of funny humorous type voice. But they said, why are you so creative? <laughs> I need answers. Thank you. I have a thousand ideas in my head and it sometimes plagues me at night and I toss and I turn because as soon as it strikes midnight, like my head just starts turning and I start thinking of all these different ideas of things that I wanna do, not only for my channel, but just in general. I'm like, ooh, and I wanna do this and tomorrow I wanna do this and this and this and this and this and this and I just get really fueled by that. So I appreciate you. Thank you so much for being so sweet. That just is the best comment. Like I thrive off creativity and individual Individualism. I really wish more people would be themselves just because it's only one you and I know that that is a cliche but it is and so it's just better to be yourself than to try to be somebody else because it just never really works it really doesn't also I really liked this comment this one comes from Corvette Shrell I believe she said I work part-time at a grocery store and I be in their glam AF for my little four hour shifts because I need to use the makeup and I don't be going nowhere else. When I say I feel you and relate to you on a spiritual level, the video that she commented on was when I was trying newish products like a get ready with me that I did. And I was talking about, I'm going to the grocery store like this, I don't care. like. That is me, I'm going to live my life. I'm not gonna save products for whenever I go somewhere. Like if I wanna go to the grocery store and I wanna wear a full beat down, that's what I wanna do. So when she left me that comment, I was like, I feel you boo, because so much 
we are like, oh, well, I don't really have anywhere to wear that to. Or I don't know where I would wear that. I'm saving it. Like, no, use it. Be yourself. Express yourself through your makeup. Like, I know that some people's jobs don't permit for you all to be able to wear, you know, just loud makeup. But it's a way to incorporate color. And it's a way to be able to use your stuff that you buy. Because you bought it, so flaunt it. Shartavia, my girl. She says, hey, queen. Hey, queen. So I'm going through your older videos and how did I miss this? I love the hauls, the makeup tutorials, and the vlog life videos. Yes! I'm having so much fun watching and refreshing my skills all over again. Thank you, Shartavia. I appreciate that. Like, guys, I have... I don't know exactly how many videos that I have, but I bet you I am closer to a thousand than I am 500. So I've been on this thing for 10 years almost. So I have a good amount of videos to back that up. Now, some of the things that I have on my channel may be a little dated, but there's always a piece of a gem of information in each of my videos. And so I've been getting a lot of comments asking me to do things that I have already done. Now I can redo it and update it and maybe add a little bit more wisdom to it because your girl is a little bit older, a little bit wiser. But overall, a lot of the videos that I have done, I still do the same stuff. It's just I may use a slightly newer product, but even sometimes, you guys saw I used my same Lancome powder. I like what I like and I liked what I liked back then. It's just people didn't know about it. Now people catching up. People are more on my same tip nowadays, but back in the day, like people were like, no, it's not MAC, I'm not using it. That's another story for you at the time. But go back, watch some of my older videos. It may seem like you're in another world. Like 2014, it's like, what were we doing? But truthfully, like I said, a lot of my techniques are the same. A lot of the things that I would say back then are still things that I approve of today. So go watch Baby Kelsey and show her some love because I have put a lot of time and energy and money into this channel so please make yourself at home i've created playlists for you all to be able to go watch videos and you know if you get tired of regular videos i have vlogs you know not that many of you all watch them but i find them entertaining the ones that i do do and i have been getting more requests to do more vlogs but if you are requested I'm gonna need for you to watch it. That's all I gotta say. Like, I can do more vlogs all day, every day, but if you all are not gonna watch it, it's kinda weird to be holding your camera up when you're supposed to be out with your people, having fun, you know what I mean? Like, it kinda takes away from the moment. But if you all promise to watch them, I will vlog sometimes and put it on my channel. But if you all don't engage with the videos, you don't watch them, you don't like them, you don't comment, then guess what? just like anything else. My name is Tony Childs and I specialize on results. If I don't see the feedback, then I'm, I'm not gonna exert the effort. Like, I'm just not. Last comment, Glam and Grace said, Kelsey is the GOAT. Thank you. So sweet. We love the consistency of great, genuine reviews. Thank you so much, Glam and Grace. You are so sweet. I appreciate you saying that, especially since, you know, at the last week of November and early December, I kind of fell off a little bit because I just needed a break. I don't have any reason besides my regular stuff that I had going on. I have a very active social life. I'm in a relationship. I'm full time pursuing my doctorate degree. So it's just a lot always going on in my life. Plus I'm trying to maintain a YouTube channel. Plus I do other things on top of that. So it's just busy. It's just as busy and I needed a break. I needed to decompress. Like I said, I have new content in this new Kelsey space. And then I also have content with the backdrops. And then it's about to be Christmas and New Year's and it's gonna be my birthday. So, you know, I'm probably not gonna take that long of a break again. Like that felt good to me, it did. But um, I'm, I'm out here working, but I definitely want to enjoy the holidays and sort of slow down just a little bit because I have been pumping out these videos in 2019. That's Kelsey's comment corner. Now let's talk about Kelsey on culture. 
so I have a few things that I want to share in this segment of the video. The first thing that I want to share is that I went to an Ariana Grande concert and it was really, really fun. It was an impromptu concert and my cousin and her mom and her dad were going to the concert and then at the last minute, her dad was like, wait, why, why am I going to this concert? <laughs> He was like, I really don't want to go to this concert. See if Kelsey wants to go to the concert. And I'm like, yes, I love Ariana Grande. I really do. Like she is just so cute and sassy and just her songs are just catchy. She has good songs. So she put on a really good concert. I wanted to see her last year for her sweetener tour. I don't know what this tour is called, but I was looking at those ticket prices and I was like, Ariana, I love you, but thank you next, sis. But this year it worked out and I was able to go and I had a really good time, so that was fun. The next thing that I wanna talk about are two TV shows that I really loved and enjoyed. So the first one being The Act. Have you all seen that? It's on Hulu. I don't know if it's anywhere else, but I know it's on Hulu. Oh my gosh. If you like like mystery and crime and true stories, you need to watch that. It's a trip. It's so much stuff going on. So without giving anything away, essentially the mom is basically a scammer and she's giving her daughter medicine that she does not need and making her do things like be in a wheelchair, eat her food through a feeding tube, and she doesn't necessarily need that. So she's came up with this entire scheme and she's drug her daughter into it. But as her daughter is growing older, her daughter is rebelling. And then that is what the entire show is about. It's only one season. I think it's called an anthology when it's like that. I'll have to look it up, but I really don't feel like doing it right now. But it's just one season, so when you watch it, you'll see the entire story play out from the beginning until the end. And it's just wild because it's a true story. And it was one of those things that I accidentally began watching because Hulu played it after I was watching something else. And so I was like, oh, what is this? But then I didn't switch it off quick enough. So I was watching it, and then next thing you know, I'm on episode five. Like, it just... It sucked me in there. Watch it, it's good. And then the second show that I have been really loving, and it's nothing like the act, it's more happy. It is called The Good Place, and it has Kristen Bell, and it is about a group of people who have died, and they go to The Good Place, which is a metaphor for heaven. So that show is so cute. It's not really what you think it is. You'll just have to watch it, but I just love that show. I think that it's very funny, and it's just something that you can watch at the end of the night, and it'll put you in a good good mind space because sometimes if you're watching stuff like the acts or if you're watching horror movies or just something just really gruesome like the news <laughs> you may just need like a comedic escape and that's what the good place is so i really love that show and they are currently on their last season and i'm all caught up i'm waiting on episode 10 and i believe they're gonna have four more episodes and then the show is going to be completely wrapped speaking of moving on did you all watch american horror story this year because i didn't talk about it at all if you all are og kale bells then you'll know that i'm a diehard american horror story fan and i used to be really really into american horror story but i kind of fell back american horror story 1984 <sighs> out of 10 i'm gonna give it a six it wasn't horrible, it wasn't the best, it was just I. It was a lot of like cliches and it really falls into the 1980s trope, but it just wasn't scary. Like even if it's going to be cliche and overused and all of that stuff like that, like at least be scary. I wanted to be scared at one point. Like whenever I watch almost any American Horror Story season, I am a little bit fearful for the characters. I'm not easily scared. My favorite genre of movies is horror. So I'm always aware of when they're gonna do jump scares for the most part. Sometimes I'm surprised, but most of the time I'm not. And I just never, ever was scared in that entire season. So the last thing that I wanna talk about in Kelsey on Culture is the movie Queen and Slim. 
Have you all seen that movie? Do you have an interest in seeing that movie? I really want to know what you all think about it. I don't want to give any spoilers away. I'll give you all a little bit more time to go see it before I talk about it on my channel. I know that I can tell you when to fast forward on the video or whatever, but just in case you're driving or you're in the shower and you're listening, I'm not going to give it away. But that movie, it just left a lot to be desired. I really went into that movie thinking it was going to be an updated version of Waist Deep with Tyrese and Megan Good. Maybe not as predictable too. So give me something for the 99 and the 2000s, like modernize it and then make it relatable to what's going on now. But what I got was a movie that was full of stereotypes and then it was like fake deep almost. And I left from the movie not even feeling sad for the characters or really feeling a connection to them at all. Like, I don't even know their real names. Are their names Queen and Slim? Like, is it their names? I really didn't even know. I even went to the restroom in the middle because I was slightly bored. I was like, okay, I know that you're on the run, but like, can we do something else? Like, the things that they were stopping and doing while they were on the run, it just didn't make me feel connected to them. And then some of the conversations they were having just seemed super dated. Like in one of the conversations they were talking about which Luther Vandross they prefer. So do you like skinny Luther or big Luther? Like, I can't speak for everybody, but I'm just saying, me and my friends don't sit around and talk about Luther Vandross. Like we have a little bit more relevant conversations to talk about. I really wasn't happy with the movie. And then the ending was the biggest letdown because it was like, ugh. And I just felt like it was just tired. I have so many ideas as a non-filmmaker, just as a person with ideas, that I don't understand why we continuously get the same type movies in Black Hollywood. Like, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see a slave movie. I don't want to see a movie about a woman who's in her late 30s or early 40s who has an attitude because she hasn't been properly loved. I don't want to see any of that. I want to see something new. I have so many ideas. I feel like when we get to the end of everything in our generation, that we're just gonna have a bunch of recycled reboots and then we're gonna have a lot of stereotypical things because there's not really been anybody who's rocked the boat in a long time. Where are our visionaries? I need something new. I want new music. I'm tired of everybody sounding like Future. I'm tired of everybody sounding like Travis Scott and the Migos. Like I want something else. Cause I can go on a whole rant about this. <laughs> But anyways, let me know your thoughts on that movie. I wasn't happy about it. If you want to talk about it, make sure you put Queen and Slim spoiler. That way, if somebody still has an interest in seeing it, they don't get it ruined for them. And then we can have a discussion. It's okay if you don't agree with me too. Like you may have loved the movie. And if you did, let me know. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Let me know what some of your favorite products were for the month of November or some of your favorite experiences. Let's talk about it down in the comments section. And let me know what you think about my new filming space. I'm so excited. But anywho, I'll talk to you guys in my very next video, which will be super, super, super smooches. Bye.